AI tools have become all the rage right now. And if you are in the study abroad process, you might be wondering if you could use an AI tool to write your SOP. You might have doubts whether the university is going to find out if you use an AI tool. Is it going to be plagiarism free? And what are some of the best AI tools in the market to write a quality SOP? Well, let's find out. Hi everyone, I am Neha Agrawal. I'm the founder of Eyes of Communications. And in this video, we are going to talk all about the use of AI tools for SOP writing. First, I'm going to share with you some of the top AI tools in the market. After that, I will review an SOP written by an AI tool. And finally, we will also discuss what is the best way to use these AI tools for SOP writing. So without further delay, let's get started. There are plenty of AI tools in the market for content writing. But specifically for writing your SOP, some of the AI tools available are Totler, Loom, Isopi, Career Sky, and Grad GPT. All these AI tools claim that they are plagiarism free, which means if you send this SOP to the university and the university runs it through an AI detection or a plagiarism detection tool, they will never be able to find out. The second claim that these AI tools make is that the SOPs they generate are not fake because they are taking the information from you and then just trying to represent that in the SOP in a nicer and a structured way. Personally, I've gone through all these websites and just by entering bare minimum data, I was able to get a 500 to 600 word SOP. For example, I went to the GradWrite website and then I entered some personal information like my name, what I want to do in the future, which program I am applying to and one or two lines about the work or the projects that I had done. And in less than five minutes, this was the SOP that was generated. At first, when I looked at the SOP, I was amazed as to how they were able to produce such relatable content with such less data that I had fed. But as I looked closely, I realized the writing was too polished and too perfect to be true. And secondly, the writing was also very mechanical. By mechanical, I mean that it had no feelings, no emotions and no personal touch to it. In fact, the same information was repeating over and over again. If you see here and then here and then here as well. And that gave away that this SOP was not written by a person, but it was AI generated. And all of this makes it too risky. Even though there is no plagiarism, it's very risky to send your SOP, which is generated by an AI for foreign university admissions. Because what if the university does find out and then you get rejected from your applications just because of this? I'll share my personal opinion. I am an SOP reviewer and last year I reviewed over 200 SOPs and LORs. And with practice, I've gotten so good at it that just by looking at the SOP, I can tell you whether you have written the SOP or some third party SOP writer has written it for you. Forget AI, which is even more easy to identify. So imagine the university's admission committee members who have been doing this process over and over again, year after year. How easy do you think it is going to be for them to identify whether the SOP has been written by an AI or not? In fact, I've reviewed a very detailed SOP written by ChatGPT. So if you want to know exactly which parts in the SOP give away that it's been written by an AI tool, you can check out my previous video. But I think the best way to go about this is to not take the risk of getting an entire SOP generated by an AI tool. Instead, what you should do is use this technology smartly to make your SOPs unique and stand out from other applicants. First thing you need to do is write the SOP on your own because no one else can do it for you. Only you know what's your story, your feelings and why is it so important for you to study abroad. And finally, all the things that you've done in your career till now to reach the place that you are today. Now, if you think that I don't know how to write an SOP, the flow or the sections which go in an SOP and I don't even have samples from which I can take references from, then that is where I can help you. To help you guys, what I've done is prepared a course on studying abroad where I teach you from scratch not only how to write your SOP but all other essays be it your personal statements, scholarship essays and even your letter of recommendation. I share with you the step-by-step -step process to write these documents 
help you brainstorm content and then share multiple examples with you from top universities of my friends and past students so that you have enough idea how to go about writing your own SOP. Now once you've written your SOP with or without my help, you can use AI tools like Grammarly, Quillbot, Trinka or even ChatGPT to get your SOP language and grammar checked. This is the right way to use an AI tool because at the end of the day, the writing is yours, the writing style is yours and all you're using the AI tool for is to get some minor language issues fixed which no university will object. Now once you've done all this process and you have an SOP which is which you feel is the best version of what you could have produced, what you need to do is to send it to three reviewers. Choose these reviewers who have some basic idea of what goes in an SOP and have a decent command over English. Ask them to review your document for you and suggest some feedback. Now based on their suggestions, you make all those changes in the SOP and after you've done all this, you will have an SOP in your hand which is ready for submission. This is clearly not the shortcut SOP that you could have easily generated in 5 minutes with the help of an AI tool. But this SOP is more personal, has your own writing style, includes information that you want to communicate and this SOP will help you stand out from other applications. Now, if you want me to be one of your reviewers and help you craft an SOP which is ready for submission, then you can join me for my study abroad feedback program. As part of this feedback program, I give you two rounds of review per document and the kind of feedback I give, no AI tool will be able to give you because I go through your entire SOP and comment on the content which sections of your SOP work, which don't work, whether the sections need to be rearranged, whether any information needs to be added, subtracted, how to establish flow in your SOP and bring out a story that really sets you apart from others. So we have very limited slots because in this season we have a lot of bookings. So if you want me to review your SOP, the link is in the description and in the pinned comment. So guys, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Hope this video gave you some understanding of what are the pros and cons of using AI tools for writing your SOP. If you have any further questions, you can put them down in the comments below and I will try.